Hey guys, we're back with Wyatt's Tractor Sales for another video. Today we're going to be doing our September October Tractor of the Month. Okay, I'm here today with Sam, uh, Cub Crazy, and we're going to be doing his favorite tractor this month, Farm Mall Cub. And uh, we'll let him talk a little bit about it here in a minute. Watch the field behind the plow turn to straight dark rows. Feel the trickle in your clothes. Blow the dust cakes from your nose Hear the tractor steady roar No, you can't stop now With a quarter section more or less to go The Farm Old Cub was the smallest tractor that International Harvester built and was primarily designed for farms uh, for acreage under 40 acres. And they were uh, perfect tractors to use on small farms uh, producing vegetables, poultry, um, or even nursery plants. The Cub had an 8.89 horse engine in it, and it was powered by an international C60 engine. The Farm Old Cub was produced from 1947 to 1964, and after the end of the <laughs> Farm Old Cub production, the International Cub came out, and it was produced up until 1976. It's got a three-speed transmission. It's got reverse, first, second, and third. And run um, six and a half miles per hour at top speed. Okay, so we've got uh, two different farm all cubs here. We're going to go ahead and look at both of them. Um, and let Sam talk about uh, the different features of both of them, um, and then uh, we'll we'll just let you let you look at them here. This here is my 1950 white demonstrator. Um, it's my third tractor I've ever owned. Um. I traded it for my first tractor. I had a 1957 Farmer Cub. I traded. I helped my grandpa buy this off an auction over at Snyder Auctions in Bodger, Missouri, and it needed some work to it. And we took it to my grandpa's, and we walked out, got it running, and we found that it was a white demonstrator. So my dad and grandpa told me if I wanted to. I could trade them. Uh, I couldn't pass up a white diamond trader, so I took it. And I pulled it this summer at the Gasconade County Thrashers. And I went like 50 some feet. And the clutch slipped. So now me and Grandpa's got to put a clutch in it this, sum this winter. And I'm hoping in the next couple of years, I mean, paint it for an FFA project. And we got a blade out there in the fence row, I mean, put on it. But right now, it's got a full set of wheel weights on it. It's got a 42-inch wood deck on it. And you can tell there's some white paint on it from where it was a demonstrator at one point. So they painted it red. I believe you can see some here on the bell housing real well showing through and uh how do you know it's a true white demonstrator um look at the serial number yep it's got a true white demonstrator serial number um you can see here on the, the fender there's a lot of white showing um it was pretty freshly painted when you bought it though wasn't it yep i've owned it for two years two and a half yep something like that like two years Okay, what can you tell us about the other tractor sitting here? Um, well, I bought this, well, right a year ago I bought this thing. I bought this on an auction over in Leesburg, Missouri. And it wasn't running at the time. And it, the gas tank was really dirty. They left the cap off of it. And it's a 19... Fifth, no, 63. 1963. And I brought it home, worked on the tank. I came home every night from school. I would put alcohol and stuff in the tank, let it sit. I kept cleaning it out, got a little rust out, and I finally would clean the points, put some gas in it, put a battery in it, and it took right off. So, um, what uh, special features does this tractor have? Uh, this one does not have a whole set of wheel weights. It's got... It's got the rear weights, though. It's got wheel weights. 
Um, uh, looks like you've got the deluxe seat. Yes, I got a deluxe seat, and then I got the hydraulic lift, and then I got a manual lift. Oh, you got both on this tractor. Yes. And well, you can see this a PTO. Not all of them have a PTO. PTO was optional on them. Now, was a belt pulley optional also? Yes. Because I've seen some with a belt pulley, but don't yes. look like either of these have one. Um, this mm. one has a plow on it. So how, how big is the plow? It's a one bottom, 12 inch plow. Okay. So what are the differences in the styling? Like why is the demonstrator styled the way it is? And why is the 63 styled the way it is? Um, well, the 63, it was a ladle model. So they will, they knew the demonstrators, they will like, they were a 50 model. So they were towards the beginning of the cub, at the beginning of the cub production so that that's the design they had in the earlier models. And as they got, as the years went on, they found better designs. And that's why they, they got several different designs. But personally, I think that's one of my favorite designs. That's very interesting. Um, I believe uh, they were styled to match the rest of the tractors that were being produced. So the Cub would, um, the demonstrator would match um, the, like the A, the B, yeah. the H, the M. Um, and then as time went on up into the 60s, when they started with the um, 60, 40 and 60 series, so like a 240, 340, 460, 560, um, this tractor was made to match those. Um, is that correct, Sam? Yeah, I believe so. All right, so out of these two tractors, which one is your favorite? I, to be honest, I don't have a favorite at the moment. But I think when I paint that and put the blade on it, I think that that'll be my favorite. Well, um, it's definitely a very special tractor being a demonstrator. Very glad that you have it. Um, so would you like to um, show us a little bit more of the equipment that they made for these tractors? Yeah, we got some of the equipment around here we can show you guys. Okay, well, let's go do it. Hey guys, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about Schneider Auctioneers. Schneider Auctioneers is a big supporter of the Wyatt's Tractor Sales YouTube channel. I encourage each of you to check out SchneiderAuctioneers.com. Bidding is currently open for their fall equipment auction, featuring lots of great tractors, trucks, farm equipment, construction equipment, and way more. Auctions conducted by Schneider Auctioneers are online only and feature a very convenient bidding platform with a slow close. All items sell regardless of price with no buybacks and no reserves. Schneider Auctioneers is one of the best auction companies in the area. I highly recommend checking out SchneiderAuctioneers.com and giving the fall equipment auction a look. But first, let's get back to the video. Well, here's another farm wall cub. It's a 1947. It's got a sickle mower on it. Um, it don't have no hydraulic in it. It's manual left only. All right, it's, I'll walk around here and look at that. It's a 1947 model. It's one of the first ones built. We bought it on an auction recently, and we did have it for a project, and we'll probably have it up for sale here when we get it running. Yep. But it's overall, it's a very, very clean little cub, and... and uh, I don't think it'll take much work to get it done, but the sickle mower is in um, just fantastic shape. Um, here is our disc plow. It's a one bottom disc plow. It goes on the back of a cub, and I mean, hopefully you have a cub one day that I can put it on right now. I think now. it mounts in the middle, though, don't it? Yeah, I think so. It's kind of like that plow. Mm -hmm. It just hooks yeah. in that drawbar with the flowers. Yep. Um, and then this this disc here, this is a disc for a Massey Harris pony, so um, we're not going to talk about that. Um, there's another sickle mower for a cub. And here is the blade, I mean, from a demonstrator. It's a real nice one. So, and here is a piece that I've always seen two or three, and I've been on a couple. And I seen one at auction last fall. I told my dad, I'm buying it. And you did, didn't you? And I, I bought it. It was, it needs a couple of blades on it. And I, I just, just filled out here with it this year. 
We put it in grass, but it didn't rain and it just grew weeds. <laughs> so we're going to disc it again next year, aren't Yeah. We? Next spring. I broke one of the back blades out there on a rock, but it's, it's nice. I just got him with it la last week. So uh, there is a video yes. of you disking, so we'll disking go ahead and that put field. that at the end of this video. All right, anything else you want to tell viewers about the Farm All Cubs, Sam? No, but if you want one, we got one. All right, well, thank you, Sam, for hosting this video. Yep. And uh, we'll catch you all in the next one. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that thumbs up, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Wait. Yep, you're yeah. good. So thanks for watching, and God bless.